Hi everyone, and welcome back to a new video. Uh, sorry for the brightness. Uh, the sun is shining directly on me right now, so if it's a little washed out, that's why. But nonetheless, today I'm going to be showing you some of my eyeshadow palettes. Woohoo! Well, all of my eyeshadow palettes because this is my makeup collection. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing I have is a Neon Brights 10 Color Pearl Eyeshadows. This is from a store called Five Below, and it has really, really bright colors in it, and the pigment is pretty darn good. I only paid $4 for this. Look at that. Whoa! And it does transfer. And it's still on my fingers. Um, the lighter colors, such as the light purple and the peachy color here do tend to have a little less pigment so they aren't as dark as say this vibrant purple but the colors are fantastic and I use this palette a lot when I dress up as Disney princess cosplaying Ooh. Um, no, going along with that I have two other ones I have drama and bear also from five below this one here is kind of similar to a naked palette basically, and it's it's okay. The pigment isn't actually as good, I find, as the other ones. See, I mean, it's, it's alright. The purple is good, but the lighter colors just tend to wash right off. Um, they don't really last as well, but they do... They, they don't last all day is what I'm trying to say, but they do blend really well. So I like using these if you're just going out for like an hour or two, you got a quick party to go to. This is a really nice palette with some nice colors. And also, there's the other one. So same similar sort of thing, um, but this one I find does stick a little bit better. I just used the same finger, so that was pointless. Let's try a swatch with this finger, shall we? There we go. So there's some golds. There's some of the pinks, and yeah, it's a nice, lovely bear palette, um, and not bad for only $5. The next one I have is the Nudes palette by Maybelline. If anybody has seen Tati's video, she talked about this, and I've got to agree with her. It's just not that great. It's kind of, I don't know, I feel like when you apply it, the colors just kind of slide off. The brush that it came with is pathetic, like really, who uses these? No, you cannot do a very nice makeup with this. Um, so the colors look really, really nice in here, but when you go to swatch them or you go to actually use them, they just kind of flake right off and I end up with a bunch of under eye shadow. Next one I have is the Style Essentials, also from Five Below. And it's got some nice light pinks, nicer light shadows. Um, it does all right. Um, they're really, really good blending shadows, again. So for $5, this one I would highly recommend over this one, which was $10, and is awful. So if you're looking for a nice, I think it's the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay, this is a pretty good dupe for it. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of the same similar colors, and they work really well. I use this one more for like a soft no makeup, minimal makeup look, I want to say, so this is a great one. Moving on to Wet n Wild, this is one of my absolute favorite palettes right now. It's really small, so I wish it was a big one that had like tons of colors, but that's okay. Um, it took me forever to find this. I can't find the other ones still, but this one is Vice City, uh, Venice Beach. It has amazing bright colors that are really fun if you're doing something for a party or a Halloween or whatever. I used this um, just playing around with it and oh my gosh, look at that. Holy cow! And it doesn't come off easy. So you will definitely need some hardcore makeup wipes to get these off. It was like $4. I highly, highly recommend it if you can find it. Um, I'm sure they're still on Amazon, but I love this so much. It's one of my all-time faves. Moving along! I have this one you've probably heard of, because if you've seen any of my videos, Stila in the Mine palette. Um, the lovely white color that I apply as a base is pretty much gone. There's like this much left, so I'm like savoring it, but it works really nice as almost a primer to go above your eyes. And 
Then the other colors, I use the purples for Rapunzel and for Elsa. Um, and I also use this for my New Year's makeup, actually. I did a lot of the golds down here. Um, the pigment's excellent, and it's a good one. It's one of my first high-end high-end palettes that I ever tried and I wasn't disappointed so I would definitely get it again. The other one that I have from Ulta is the Too Faced Stardust palette by Vegas Ney. This is phenomenal. One, I love the names of these. Like this one right here, this shade is called Selfie, which I think is hilarious. But also this shade is very similar to the Stilla in the Mind palette one, that white color right down there to use to apply my eyeshadow base with. So, selfie, thank you. You are almost an exact replica of the color that I was very, very sad to be losing. So, that's good. Um, these three colors right here are the main ones I use. I definitely use a lot of purples. I have green eyes, so purples, pinks, and golds are what I tend to tick to. Stend to tick to. Blah, 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 blah. What am I saying? Tend to stick to. Hooked on phonics works for me. Um, I have never used these two, and I should, because they're there and they look beautiful. And I've also never used this dark burgundy brown color down here, which looks gorgeous, so I need to try those out. But so far, I've not been disappointed. I really, really like this. Next up, I have the Color Prevail Social Butterfly. This I won in a contest on Instagram. I've only used it once, so I haven't uh, really fully tested it, but I like it a lot. It's very nice for soft pinks and soft, subtle eyes, and the pigment's pretty good. I think that you can get this at Walgreens for $10, but from what I've seen so far, I'd recommend it. If you guys want to see a tutorial with this, let me know, and maybe I can do one for you. The next one I have is the NYX Underneath It All. Um, I got this at Ulta while I was away, and I really haven't used this one very much. I've only had it a few weeks. It's got some really nice colors in there. I got it because I really liked this green color, and sadly, I have not gotten the chance to use it, but the pigment of it is really, really awesome. Um, it's nice and matte, mattifying is what I want to go with. Um, then it's got this beautiful silver color up here, which is really nice to just blend into the edges. Um, so yeah, I look forward to playing with this one too. And it also comes with highlighters and blushes. Ooh! And I have used the highlighter and it's phenomenal. Two left. Uh, this one is the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette eyeshadow. And holy cow, you guys, we could be here all day if I were to talk about this one. Um, can you see all these? Yeah. Now, not only does it have that, but look at this. Oh, jackpot! Um, this is phenomenal. As you can see, these hot pinks down here. Whoa! Pigment galore. Um, you can get this on Amazon or the BH Cosmetics website. I am love, love, loving this green down here. I've used it a few times. Look at that. Wow! Yep. Uh, this is like my go-to palette pretty much every day, so the other ones are losing a little bit of love because this just has every color. This is perfect for when I travel. I take this with me because I've got every single color I could ever possibly need, and I just think it's phenomenal. They're so bright. There's some mattifying ones. There's some creamy ones. There's some shimmer ones, so it just has a little bit of something for everyone, and I love it so much. Yay! Um, moving on to the last palette. It is the Sephora Bow Palette. I don't actually know if that's the name, but that's what I call it because it looks like a bow. Um, this is one of the first palettes I ever got, and that is because it comes with a ton of stuff. So, as you can see, it's got lip glosses and stuff in it, as well as the shadows. Um, I really like these. The only problem is the little areas are so small that it makes it really difficult to get anything without having it go any everywhere or go into the next section. Um, I also find that this is really bulky, so it's not travel friendly. It's usually in the bottom of my drawer and you have to dig it out, which is annoying. But the colors are really, really nice. I just wish that, again, the pods were a little bit bigger so I could get to the product easier. On the plus side, it has these nice cream shadows, which you can see here. So these are gorgeous. 
and so much fun to use because look at that and we'll put on some blue just for the fun of it Ta-da! Um, it's not very good as a Minnie Mouse bow either uh, yeah, anyways, apparently I've run out of stuff to say, cause I'm out of palettes, and now I'm just acting weird, so I'm gonna let you guys go. And if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up, I would super appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't already, because this quirkiness ain't anywhere else, folks. There's only one me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching! Bye!